first thing I set out to do is um, sketch uh, the historical demography of the entire region. During uh, the period from 1820 through the 1850s, greatly impacted the company's relationships with Sindh, and this impact, uh, more often than not, benefited Sindh's merchants. I turned the clock back to Mohenjo-daro and Harappa to the peak of the Indus civilization around 4,500 years ago. When the Hindus left Sindh, many of them went and settled in Bombay and of course other places in the world. And in, in Sindh, they had been used to wheat of a very good quality. In Bombay in particular, they weren't getting that and it was a problem. Sindh ji Azim Sultanat Khatri Asa Panja Hazar Varya Kabal Masi Kaim and Daim Hui. So the earliest record, uh, particularly of the history of Arab conquest of Sindh, was compiled outside in India in the 9th century when an anonymous uh, writer uh, compiled the Minhajuddin Walbulk in Arabic. Awareness of the past, of the different areas that need to be studied, should be made, should be there, and that people should, younger students and researchers especially, should find these subjects and work on them for the indictment of us all.